सर एक राहुल पूछ रहा था हाँ जी पूछिए सर ये पास पेपर में एक क्वेश्चन दिया हुआ है जिसमें दो दो टारगेट मैं तो एक टारगेट इज हेड ऑन जो नीचे आ रहा है और एक टारगेट इज क्रॉसिंग पोर्ट टू साउ क्रॉस कर रहा है और दोनों का सीपी है जीरो तो उसमें थोड़ा लैंग्वेज में उन्होंने ऐसा लिखा है कि यू हैव टू मेंटेन सीपी ऑफ टू माइल्स सो यू हैव टू एनालाइज द प्लॉट एंड आइडेंटिफाई विच वेसल इज रिक्वायर्ड टू टेक एक्शन एंड वॉट इज दिन आरवी है या गुड विजिबिलिटी आरवी में है आरवी में आरवी में एंड बोथ ऑफ बोथ द वेसल्स आर फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द बीम बोथ आर फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द बीम ओके सो ओन वेसल बोथ ऑल द वेसल्स आर ड्यूटी बाउंड टू कीप क्लियर बेसिकली अग्रीड सर तो इसमें सर जब हम लोग जैसे इसमें स्टार्बर्ड में ऑल्टर करेंगे स्टार्बर्ड ऑल्टर करेंगे अभी इस केस में तो ऐसा हो रहा है कि जो हम हेड ऑन जो वैसे उसके लिए जो ऑल्ट्रेशन कर रहे हैं टू माइल्स मेंटेन करने के लिए वही वो ऑल्टर करने पे जो क्रॉस कर रहा है उसका भी टू माइल्स आ जाता है सेम सेम हाँ वो दोनों का ही आएगा क्योंकि दोनों की टेंजेंट टू माइल पे आएगी और दोनों का जो एंगुलर रेडियस है वो सेम होगा यस यस दोनों का सेम आता है इसमें एक चीज और था क्या जीरो नाइन जीरो नहीं कर रहा था वो थ्री वन फाइव अच्छा ओके उस मतलब उसका उसके तीन बेरिंग दिए मैं इसमें अभी दोनों दो यूज किए हैं लेकिन बेरिंग कांस्टेंट है दोनों का ठीक है ठीक है ओके तो इस केस में तो ये हो रहा था इन केस की अगर कोई ऐसा आता है जिसका नहीं होता जीरो तो तो उस केस में हमको हमने जैसे हेडोन के लिए ऑल्टर कर लिया एक बारी दो माइल के लिए हमने उसको चेक कर लिया बेसिकली आप देख लोगे की बैड गाय कौन सा तो दोनों के ही एंगुलर रेडियस यूर सेम है अगर दोनों का सेम है तो देन आई वुड लाइक टू सी द रेट ऑफ अप्रोच ऑफ बोथ द टारगेट्स एंड किसका टीसीपी है पहले है देन आई वुड लाइक टू सी दैट ओके लेकिन ये टीसीपी हम स्पीड के केस में नहीं कर रहे थे नहीं अब इस केस में अब तुमने एक स्पेसिफिक केस बता दिया मुझे कि दोनों के 2 माइल है तो अब एक सामने से आ रहा है ठीक है तो इन uh, एंड दूसरा एंगल से आ रहा है पोर्ट बाउ से टाइप्स यू नो राइट आई वुड लाइक टू नो किसका टीसीपी है कम टी है राइट right. ये ना हो ना कि भैया हेड ऑन वाला जो है वो तो आ रहा है तीन नॉट की स्पीड पे और ये जो पोर्ट बाउ वाला है वो आ रहा है पंद्रह नॉट की स्पीड पे तो क्वाइट ऑब्वियसली ये बैड गाय मेरे लिए बन जाएगा ना समझे भी अगर हेड ऑन वाला तीन नॉट या पांच नॉट की स्पीड पे आ रहा है आराम से मस्ती से आ रहा है और ये जो पोर्ट बाव वाला है ये पंद्रह नॉटर है ये जो कंटेनर वेसल वट तो मैं इसके लिए पहले करूंगा ना ये मेरे लिए बैड गाय बन जाएगा हेड ऑन वाला नहीं बनेगा तो वो कह मतलब कि जो फास्ट अप्रोच कर रहा है जल्दी जल्दी से आ रहा है उसको प्रायोरिटी लेना पड़ेगा उसको मैं प्रायोरिटी दूंगा वो मेरे लिए प्रायोरिटी है ओके। तो दो, वो उसके लिए ऑर्डर करूंगा लेकिन एक मिनट इसके लिए किया इसकी टेंजेंट आई इसकी टेंजेंट ड्रॉ करी और इसकी टेंजेंट ड्रॉ करके हाँ इसकी टेंजेंट बिल्कुल ठीक है दैट्स ओके। सो इसके लिए टेंजेंट बनाऊंगा मैं जो भी बैड गाय बनेगा सो बेसिकली अगर दोनों का एंगुलर रेडियस सेम आ रहा है 
तो इन दैट केस मैं टीसीपीए चेक करूंगा ओके ओके तो वो सेम हमें उधर भी लिखना पड़ेगा आंसर शीट में दिस इज द टीसीपीए ऑफ टारगेट दिस इज लेस देन टारगेट दिस सो वी विल प्रायोरिटाइज एक्शन विद सो एंड सो एब्सोल्युटली बिल्कुल ठीक बिल्कुल ठीक ओके ओके so this is a better word to use prioritize your action so it's better to use this word than good guy bad guy wala jo hai wo that is only to understand but you can write this uh, prioritizing in action is what you can write in the answer sheet and that is a acceptable word you know okay sir haan ji any other doubt okay so let's come on to uh, stability today uh, uske ek do chote chote topics reh gaye hain hamare to ek hai parametric rolling aur ek hai stresses and uh, wo wo main so aaj jo hamari do classes hain to main pehle parametric rolling se shuru kar raha hu theek hai so let me start with parametric rolling uh parametric rolling okay काफी पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन है एंड बहुत बार आता है अगर अगर आ गया तो छोड़ना मत इसको बिकॉज नंबर पूरे मिलते हैं इसमें यू कॉन्ट गो रॉन्ग इन इट सो सो बेसिकली पैरामेट्रिक रोलिंग दिज अ बिग बिट ऑफ अ हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड इट सो इट हैपन्स ऑन लार्ज कंटेनर वेसल्स very large container vessels very large container vessels uh, uh, it occurs on these vessels it doesn't occur on chota vessels uh, it doesn't occur on bulk carriers or tankers it just occurs very specifically to these vessels so somewhere in the 1990s there was a vessel called apl china and she was on a voyage from kaohsiung taiwan to uh, us west coast i think it was seattle so so it was a trans pacific voyage and uh, weather uh, uh, expected at sea was not uh, very rough it was just usual normal pacific weather which was so nothing very exceptional about it but when this vessel arrived uh, seattle she arrived with uh, several Uh, several hundred containers overboard several containers had gone overboard and uh, several of her containers even though lashed had just fallen off and the lashing still holding ground so you would have seen those couple of pictures which are available on the net where the entire uh, bay of the container has tilted off and uh, uh, so therefore uh, she arrived in a very heavily listed condition
and she had encountered extremely heavy rolling at sea had been encountered so uh, uh, weather reports were checked and everything weather were, was usual wind force 8 and 7 and 8 which was nothing very great uh, for her size but she experienced unduly large rolling and uh, that was the reason because of which water ingress took place uh, through the steering flat uh, and from steering flat, the water ingress came into engine room. The engine room got flooded and uh, therefore the heavy list happened. So now uh, the naval architects got into the action mode and they at that time coined this term that she had encountered what was called as parametric rolling or pitching induced rolling. So she encountered rolling which was induced by pitching. She had pitched very heavily and because of that pitching, she the pitching induces rolling into it and that was the cause of the what was termed as parametric rolling. So now write down uh, some notes on parametric rolling. So let me know when you are ready to write. Yes. OK. The development of container ships the development of container ships requiring large big cargo capacity and having fast speeds has resulted in has resulted in hull forms hull forms with fine lined bows with fine lined bows combined with a wide stern this asymmetry this asymmetry between the bow and stern lines Sir, this, asymmetry. this asymmetry between the bow and stern lines has 
has produced the tendency for the ship's pitching motion to induce rolling which has been very severe in several recent cases this type of rolling has been called as parametric rolling as it depends upon the parameters of the ships displacement and writing lever and is most marked when the pitching period is either equal to or half that of vessels synchronous roll period sir so, uh, can you repeat from uh, either equal to or is either equal to or half that of vessels synchronous roll period ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हमने लिखा क्या है ऑलराइट सो बेसिकली सबसे पहला पॉइंट में तो हमने ये कहा कि दीज शिप्स देयर वाटर प्लेन रिजेंबल्स समथिंग लाइक दिस अ वेरी नैरो बाउ एन अ वेरी ब्रॉड स्टर्न इनकी बाउ लाइन एंड स्टर्न लाइन ये होती है इनका वॉटर प्लेन लुक ये है ये शिप्स का सो एज अ रिजल्ट देर इज अ सिमेट्री बिटवीन द बाउ लाइन एंड द स्टर्न लाइन ये ए सिमेट्री जो है ये कॉज करती है पिचिंग इंड्यूस्ड रोलिंग सो ये तो एक बात हो गई सबसे पहली बात फिर ये कहता है कि द कंडीशन विच इज मोस्ट अपरेंट फॉर पैरामेट्रिक रोलिंग टू अकर इज पिचिंग पीरियड पिचिंग पीरियड टीपी इज आइदर इक्वल टू वेसल सिंटोनस रोल पीरियड टीएस और 
half of vessel synchronous roll period. So the conditions which favor the period at which the ship is pitching. So basically, कहने का मतलब ये है कि अगर ये सिंक्रोनस रोल पीरियड है जहाज का टी एस और पिचिंग पीरियड जिस रेट पे वो पिच कर रहा है वो ये है यानी कि उसी के इर्द गिर्द है दैट मींस द पिचिंग पीरियड इज इन रेजोनेंस विद द सिंक्रोनस रोल पीरियड देन व्हेन द टू आर इन रेजोनेंस द रिजल्टेंट is a unduly large rolling and that unduly large rolling is called as parametric rolling so in other words pitching period and the synchronous roll period together when they are in resonance with each other they will result in parametric rolling now why is it called parametric rolling because it is based on the parameters of ship's displacement w and the gz the righting lever it is dependent on these two fellows of the ship which cause the parametric rolling to occur now let's come to why does it occur so the next paragraph Any doubt so far? Sir, that is only in containers, big containers. Only, only big containers. No other vessel. Because what? Uh, ये water pipe जो है, ये वाला, ये मेरे किसी और जहाज पे नहीं होगा, tanker पे नहीं होगा, बल्कि में नहीं होगा. Even feeder vessels पे भी नहीं होगा. Okay, sir. So, ये displacement और writing की बात. उसमें आजकल जो नए बड़े गैस कैरियर शिप आ रहे हैं उनका भी ऑलवेज सेम होता है वाटर के लिए व्हिच 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 शिप्स यू आर सेइंग गैस कैरियर्स अच्छा गैस कैरियर्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द द यूएलजीसीज इज इट यस सर यूएलजीसीज दे फाइन होते हैं आगे से पीछे ऑलमोस्ट ब्रॉड ही रहता है बट यूएलजीसी टू माय नॉलेज आगे से बेशक फाइन होगा बट पैरल बॉडी में तो देर प्रोडी बीम हैवी राइट फ्रॉम फॉरवर्ड ओनली नहीं इज इट नॉट लाइक दैट आई मीन आई एम नॉट टू श्योर ऑन दिस लाइक इतना नहीं होता जितना कंटेनर्स का बट स्टिल दे आर लाइक फाइन हां मतलब दे माइट बी हैविंग अ अ फॉक्सल एंड अ फाइन लाइन फॉरवर्ड बट उसके बाद उनकी जो पैरल बॉडी लेंथ है टू माय नॉलेज is a very large one ha yes sir wo hai the ulgcs so uh, ulgcs don't uh, experiment let me check it out whether they experience parametric rolling to my knowledge they don't but let me just check it out okay sir mai check kar lunga ke but sir car carriers mein bhi to same hota hai fine aage se nahi car carriers passenger vessels uh, uh, no car carriers you see car carriers are more of a box passenger vessels are more of a box so in order to compensate for the speed they create a very fine bow agreed okay but the maximum parallel body length maximum hoti hai unme 
क्योंकि दे वांट टू मैक्सिमाइज ऑन द स्पेस यस सो सो रोरोस एंड पैसेंजर वेसल्स डोंट अंडरगो पैरामेट्रिक रोलिंग एट ऑल दिस इज वेरी यूनिक टू दीज फेलोज यू नो दीज फेलोज आर द वंस हु विल एक्सपीरियंस इट एंड वी विल जस्ट सी व्हाई अभी हम उसको आ रहा हूं मैं okay write down the next paragraph okay now we are coming into why does parametric rolling occur why does it happen how does pitching induce rolling kaise karta hai so write down if the vessel has a slight heel due to windage if the vessel has a slight heel due to windage or rudder action then the effective immersed water line beam then the effective immersed water line beam and writing lever so can you please repeat this if the vessel has a slight heel due to windage or rudder action then the effective immersed water line beam and writing lever will increase as the hull pitches stern down so what was the last word will increase as the hull pitches stern down okay so let's try to understand the vessel now so i have got a vessel right now so supposing there is a slight amount of so windage so if there is a wind from coming from this side she will have a slight heel to the starboard because there is a wind coming from the port side and hitting her so starboard heel ho gayi jahaz ko acha simultaneously ye jahaz pitch bhi kar raha hai to jab ab ye thodi si heel hai halki si aur stern down hai that means bow upar hai if the stern is down there is a larger beam width which is down thanks to this fellow stern is broad so the stern is going to be down stern is going to be down larger beam will be available to this vessel right do you agree on all this so far yes sir yes sir L- larger beam means larger writing lever to bring her back to upright so yes sir so a larger writing lever 
will bring her back. So a larger restoring force will hit this vessel to bring her back and therefore overshoot on the other side. Yes, sir. Right. Now you write down the next paragraph. This will create a large restoring moment. This will create a large restoring moment that will be unchecked. If the hull then pitches bow down. So that will be. This will create a large restoring moment. That will be unchecked. If. The hull. Then pitches. Bow down. At the end of. The return roll. As. It's effective. Water plane width. And writing moment. Will be reduced. Full stop. This cyclic variation. So please repeat. This cyclic variation in the writing lever. occurs at pitching frequency and can induce a rapid build up in rolling motion if its period is close to either So close to close to either the ships natural roll period or half the vessels 
natural roll period. Okay, let's try to understand now what we have written. So let's try to understand. So we have turned down hua, larger beam, hui, larger writing lever. And the larger writing lever will a larger restoring force banega, and it will overshoot and take it to the side. Agreed? Yes, sir. Agreed, yes, sir. Agreed, sir. So, so I uh, so I've got a vessel which is now he rolled over to the port side. Simultaneously, at this point of time, the stern is going to come up. Now the bow will go down. When the bow goes down, narrow beam, smaller writing lever will hit and will take this vessel smaller now, smaller restoring force onto the starboard side. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes. In the meantime, the bow has come up. The stern has again come down. Larger beam, larger writing lever, larger restoring force happens, which will push the vessel to the port side. Yes, sir. Okay. This will keep on alternating. Stern, bow down, stern down, bow down, stern down, bow down, stern down will keep on happening. So what is happening? There is a rapid buildup of the restoring force and the restoring moment which is occurring. There is a rapid buildup which is occurring. Agreed? Yes, sir. yes sir. And when the pitching period frequency matches to the rolling period frequency, you will have a self-induced very heavy rolling which is called as parametric rolling. So, it doesn't happen like that. One side is more. When one side is more, then automatically the domino effect happens. The domino effect gets carried forward for successive rolls. So, when the starboard side is a small writing lever, it will delay the vessel becoming upright it will cause the roll to come slowly onto the other side in the meantime the other way would, would have happened the larger force would have occurred so there is going to be a induced continuously induced large small writing lever fluctuation which is going to happen and once that frequency of the pitching becomes equal to the frequency of the rolling, you will have resonance and that resonance is called as parametric rolling. Important thing is the resonance between these two fellows. If the two are not equal, then it won't happen. So that does not happen in the case of. It does not mean that every. I'm not trying to say that every large container vessel will undergo parametric cooling. I'm not saying that. Only when this becomes equal will it happen or this becomes half of it. Will this happen? 
अगर वो रोल हो गया और उसी टाइम पे उसका नीचे का वाटर प्लेन चेंज हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ पिचिंग तो वो ये इफेक्ट आ जाएगा सो हाउ डू यू अवॉइड पैरामेट्रिक रोलिंग ऑन बोर्ड अवॉइडेंस फर्स्ट ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स so basically bow to the wave so you avoid by altering your course second you reduce your speed you reduce your speed and third there is imo's guidance to masters on avoidance of parametric rolling this should be kept on the pitch always so on these vessels large vessels you look for this publication i am okay ek publication hai general assembly ka resolution hai and this should be kept on the bridge for the watchkeeping officer so as a watchkeeping officer you should have read this so on these ships generally you sign that you have read this basically and by construction by construction you have anti rolling tanks or anti healing tanks then you have bilge keels you have stabilizing fins and gyro stabilizers gyro stabilizers these are the fitments which are done on the what is it bilge keels okay so the, this is by construction <coughs> anti rolling tanks or anti healing tanks bilge keels stabilizing fins and gyro stabilizers so different types of ships passengers roros roro passengers container vessels different types of trades different types of uh, this thing uh, constructions are done bilge keels are a standard feature which is done in almost every vessel that has become a standard feature uh, most of the container vessels all have anti rolling or anti healing tanks most of them at least fins and stabilizers are there on roro passenger ferries roros and passenger ferries they are fitted on them so the human back in that case of one apus same case of one apus one apus container ship i go to the container ship that lost containers overboard in pacific on 1400 container that lost overboard APL China No sir one apus happened last year one apus APUS so one apus the this one container vessel okay just 400 meters <coughs> she lost around 1200 something containers okay last year in pacific okay there must, must have been must have been parametric parametric yeah. parametric rolling yeah yeah so so basically uh, 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 you supposed to 
So there is a guidance which is given to you as a this thing on how to do it. Uh, uh, sir, one more thing. Uh, sir, like, uh, is me up nipple like avoiding is filtration of course and uh, reduce your speed. So this will also be an avoiding in case of a synchronized rolling uh, because uh, this parametric rolling happens uh, synchronized bay motion also. Correct. That's right. So basically you are removing the uh, the resonance of the synchronous rolling. That's what you're doing. Uh, yes, sir. And sir, can we add one more point? Like in synchronized rolling, uh, we try to make our bow head uh, towards the wave direction, uh, mm. not on the beam. Mm. Correct. So basically, uh, uh, you'll have to go by the uh, the IMO uh, the resolution, this guidance which is there. This may ek a uh, star finder, hota hai. Vesa disk hota hai. So you're supposed to you can rotate the 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 plastic disc and you put it head towards the um, the line of waves and then it will tell you how much to alter so as to avoid parametric rolling. It will give you exact figure. OK, thank you. Hanji. Any other doubt? Okay. So this finishes off parametric rolling. Uh, next class, I will.